What's up everyone? My name is Harley and this is Sink or Swim where I provide an honest and unbiased review of products that I have ordered online from fish stores. The fish store that I'm featuring today is the Salty Bottom Reef Company and I could not be happier with the purchase that I made from them Everything was in great condition. I'm going to go through the whole process um, from the customer relations to receiving the merchandise to unboxing the way that it looks when I took it out, the way that it looks when I put it in the tank. And um, currently we're about a week and a half into it and the stuff is still thriving in the tank. Um, all of the products and uh, yeah, it's just great. So I'm just gonna get into it and start showing you. I've got pictures and I've got some video clips to show you on all the different things that I got. So yeah, let me just pull the stuff up for you to look at. <coughs> First off, this is the one that I got. It's the uh, 85 to 100 gallon cleanup crew. Okay, and uh, it cost about, you know, 154, about 150 bucks. And uh, the shipping was free. And uh, as soon as I purchased it, I got a uh, message from them um, and said, uh, well, tomorrow will be a good delivery day for you. Just let us know. I reply back, sure. Yeah, that'd be great. And uh, she gave me another message and said, uh, you know, here you go. This is the confirmation and everything. It's being shipped out overnight. And the stuff got, got here the very next day. Um, they are in Florida. And I'm located in Virginia. Don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it was... Overnighted the package got to me the very next day and everything was in great condition I'm just gonna break down this package here and just let you know what all comes in the package um, This is some information that they provided in the description with their uh, Live arrival guarantee they guarantee that all livestock will arrive alive if shipped overnight in the event of the uh, DOA they will they must be contacted within an hour of the package delivery along with clear photos of the dead fish coral inverts um, both in the shipping bag and out of the bag, uh, you know, you just follow according to their, their policy and I'm sure that everything will go smoothly. Um, like I said, the customer relationship was great. Um, she took care of me and, uh, you know, I got the stuff immediately. It was, it was amazing. And this is all the stuff that's supposed to be in the package. Uh, 20 Nassari snails, 25 Austria chestnut snails, 20 Kareth, I believe it's pronounced snails. Uh, 30 blue leg hermits, 15 white or red leg hermit crabs, uh, 4 peppermint shrimps, 2 emerald crabs, tiger tail cucumber, 2 serpent starfish, um, a short spinned urchin, and a fighting or tiger conch. And I'll just tell you right off jump that uh, that fire tiger conch, I had no idea how big that thing was going to be. But it is huge. And I'll show you some pictures here. Okay, so... Let's go into here. I'm going to start with the actual unboxing of it. Um, this is the actual, like, the cardboard box. When you open up the cardboard box, you've got a styrofoam container in there. And that is uh, legit, just like a cooler. We open up the cooler, and inside the cooler, it's wrapped very nice. <coughs> got the heat pack or cool packs in there to keep it temperature controlled. Um, I was very impressed with the packing. We uh, opened up the opened up the package, and you can just see inside of there one huge bag. But inside that bag is a bunch of small bags, all wrapped very nicely, very nicely. And um, I just could not believe how how well this was done. This was a great job. And I uh, just want to say I'm not getting paid to say this stuff. I just wanted to put this review out there for people that might be considering getting some stuff um, online. And I want to let you know that Salty Bottom definitely has it going on. They got great stuff. I'm going to go into the actual bags as I started opening them. Um, it's not going to be an order, but hey, you know, we'll just take it one step at a time. This bag here, this was a small bag of the carrot snails. They're in great shape, look great, nice and clean. Um, this bag here, these are the little Nasaria snails. 
They're so cute. They're like little babies, little tiny ones. But they were no joke. I put them in the tank and they started moving. They were they were moving. I I, I don't think I had one dead snail at all, which was very impressive. Uh, this is actually the tiger conch. It's ridiculous. I could not believe how big that was. It's like an ice cream cone in a bag, man. It, it was nice uh, and definitely alive and, and moving in the tank right now. Just doing some work in the 125. Um, this right here is the sea cucumber. It looks like it might be a little bent in the picture there. But it's definitely an interesting piece. And it found his little home inside of a cave in my uh, 125 tank. And this right here is the uh, serpent starfish. I believe, I'm not sure if the prickly one is a serpent star. It looks more like a brittle to me, but um, definitely the one without the little pricklies is the serpent star. There could be two serpent stars there. Not sure about that, but at any rate, they're both uh, alive and well and uh, happy in the tank. And this is just another shot of them, kind of from the side. Hard to get good shots of starfish. They're flipping all around in the bag. And this right here, um, this is the hermit crabs. And they were all crawling around everywhere in there. They're having a bunch of fun. And they uh, just went all to town in my tank. I put them in, uh, put those in my, I got a 55 gallon tank that I modified for salt water. And I've got all my crabs in there. They're loving that tank. This is the uh, short spine sea urchin. And put that in the uh, 125. As soon as I put it in a 125, I mean, it didn't like immediately jump up and start running, but... It did start to move, and uh, as I watched it, it found its home up, up underneath a uh, piece of uh, rock structure, and it's been there ever since, just chilling. Um, these are the actual, uh, these are the Austria turbo snails, and these, I got to tell you, these are the absolute truth. If you want some good snails, the Austria snails will do some work for you. They are small. Um, I would say probably about a dime like a diamond diameter but these little jokers do some work on some algae i'll show you some proof of that and this is just another shot of the bag here um the little ostrich snails they are nice um this was a little card that i got from salty bottom it says thank you for your order um stop and read the acclimation instructions on back this card was on top of the box before i opened the box Failure to acclimate correctly is the biggest cause of death to marine creatures, and we want you to be successful. Awesome. So when we flip that card over, let me see if I can find that picture. I know I got it somewhere. If you flip that card over, it's got these instructions here. And I'm trying to, oh man, that's going to mess the video all up. But if you can turn your head sideways and stick out your left leg, you can read this. Um, but it goes through the whole process of acclimating. Step one turn off the lights you know all the way down to step eight remove the filled shipping bag from the aquarium and discard the water and then you put your uh, your livestock into the tank you know it goes through the whole procedure to help you so that your acclimation is on point and you get everything straight so all right let's go back to this and now this is a video and i believe this is the hermit crabs let's check it out as you can see, oh yeah, I just kind of put them down in like a little pile on a sand bed. And you can see them all moving. You can see the activity. It's ridiculous. Uh, there are so many. I don't think there was any of them that were not uh, alive. It's really good, really good shape. And this is a picture of the urchin in my tank. Um, he actually started further away from the rock and worked his way closer to that rock. Went up the wall kind of into that little cave area. And he's like up in the corner of it now. This is the actual tiger conch. Ridiculously sized, man. I could not believe they were that big. But uh, he does have enough room and he likes to slide around in a tank. And um, he's doing great. This is a video of the peppermint shrimp that were in the package. And you can see how active they are. They're just loving it. Moving around. Homie up on the top is just swaying back and forth. Enjoying it. Other guys crawling down. Man, they're having a blast. Um, like I said, the shrimp, all of them, they turned out great. They look great. Um, this right here is the picture I wanted to show you. Most saltwater tanks, um, at least mine, have this layer of algae at the bottom. This nasty green layer of algae that went all across the front of my tank. These little Austria snails 
put in some work. Look at them cutting right through it. This is just the first day. I haven't taken recent pictures, but this is just the first day because I just had to get pictures of this. The Austria snails are putting in work right there. Everywhere there was a snail at, it started cutting through that algae like it was like butter. Just going right into it. I love it, man. All right, and here you go. Check this one out. He's doing some uh, Miyagi Daniel Sun wax on, wax off right here, doing a little circle. He's tearing it up, man. And over here, you can see this one's just getting started. He's just starting it. But yeah, they're, they're going right into there and doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm so impressed with that. This was the actual shrimps, the uh, peppermint shrimps. When they package them, they put them in this bag with this little piece of net there for them to get a little traction on. You know, and look at them all. It looks like they're just posing in a lineup, man. That's freaking awesome. They're all just chilling there. Nice and healthy. Loved it. Another package, pa picture of the packaging. And uh, there's the shrimps in the bag. Look at them, perfectly healthy. Couldn't be happier. This is an honest review. This is a reminder, that's my thumbnail there that I created. Um, the thank you card, thank you for your order. And then we're going back into the packaging. Here's a picture of the shrimp on a rock. Check me out, dude. They're loving it. I'm loving it, I'm very happy with the order. Um, here's an actual video of the shrimp in the bag. Look at them. You can see the activity, man. This stuff is in great shape. I can't say enough about this company. They uh, do a terrific job with the packaging, with the customer service. And uh, overall, I'm impressed. They are definitely a, a swim. They are not a sink. I recommend Salty Bottom Reef Company to anyone out there looking for uh, cleanup crews for your salt tank. Make sure that you check them out. This is Harley with Sink or Swim signing off. Wishing you all the best in your reefing and your saltwater adventures. Y'all take care.